Hi, my name is Sanga Lindsay. I'm a landscape architect here in North Vancouver. Today is a mild uh, uh, March day, and as you can see, uh, our beehive is just teeming with activity. The bees are out on their cleansing flights right now. So I'm going to go in and check uh, for what we call the mite uh, control. We're going to see how many mites. I did a test board here, as you can see on the lower board. A test board there if you want to see how I did a mite test. Uh, check out my latest vlog. And uh, we're going to see how many mites we have. And if we have a lot, then we're going to show you what to do to treat that mite population. So I'm going to put on my hood. Get my smoker all set up. And we're going to go into the hive to check and see how the colony is doing plus how much mites we have. We'll take my smoker. They're quite uh, active today. The mere fact that they're coming out of the top and bottom leads me to believe that uh, they're going gangbusters and perhaps the queen is even laying eggs. So this little board here is just a piece of white paper that uh, last week I sprayed with some Pam. I put a mite strip in here to see how many mites might possibly uh, fall off of the bees. And as you know, the mite, uh, Varroa mite, is a very uh, damaging predator and it's actually decimating the bee populations. And I'm just taking a look and already I'm seeing, and I don't know if you can zoom in here, there's a bit of debris, but where you can see there's little round orange dots. I'll be posting that on my uh, later vlog. But I definitely have mites, and by the count of it, I probably have maybe 10 or 20 mites, which would explain why I got the bee, uh, deformed uh, wing disease over the winter. Mites suck on bee blood and actually weaken bees. And so when they hatch out of their cells, they already have half the lifeblood sucked out of them so they don't form well. They won't perform and the worker bees, the healthy ones, will kick them out of the hive and they're no good for helping to build up the strength of the hive. So I'm going to take my smoker again. Cracker open. Because the other thing I want to do is see how much food they've got left. And I put in pollen patties uh, last week. Pollen patties are a protein patty that helps the bees uh, start looking after and feeding the pollen with their, uh, to the brood. And as you can see here, there's a pollen patty I put in last week and they've done some pretty good damage on that, which leads me to believe that uh, they're actually quite doing quite well here. So, in fact, they've almost eaten the whole pollen patty, which is a good sign. So, I'm going to actually shove in another pollen patty to keep them going, stimulate uh, the queen to rear more eggs, more brood. Just put the lid on for now, because I don't want to chill my, my uh, bees, because it is still quite cool here in Vancouver. They are a little bit sluggish because they don't fly very well in these kind of temperatures, but good for just checking out, doing a preliminary check on my bees. And it looks like we've got a pretty good colony happening here. But like I said, we've got a bit of a varroa mite problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some Epivar strips. Now what's happened over the winter is that this box here was full of honey. The bees fed on this box. It's now empty. They're now in this chamber in this chamber. The queen is somewhere in these two chambers laying eggs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these Epivar strips one every two or three frames. And I had a test strip in there last week to see if indeed I had some uh, mites problems happening here. Always wear gloves. This uh, 
pesticide is not uh, good for, for you, but you take these strips out in about 45 days. So what I'm going to do is I just slide these strips in like so. I'll leave the test one in there because it's still good for another few weeks. And what I will do is I will put them, like I said, every third one, the babies will be actually in this area here and the queen. So we want to make sure that the bees are having contact with the mite strips. And then as my final thing, I'm going to go and I'm going to grab another pollen patty. Layer on top so that these guys have lots of food, lots of protein. They've still got lots of honey in the hive for their carbohydrates. That'll keep them going for another week. And then I'll start feeding sugar syrup, which I'll show you in my next vlog. And I'll feed that with some fumaldolin, which will help them with nosema, which is like a dysentery for bees. So that's it. Hopefully next vlog, I'll be able to show you a queen with her babies and this uh, hive starting to produce really rapidly. So if you want any more information, please visit my website at www.sangadesigns.com. Thanks for watching. See you next week.